Hi guys, I'm Mary Margaret. I'm the Outreach Archivist in the University Archives here at Norwich. And today I'm going to tell you about how to contact archives and get copies of the materials so that you can use it for your research. Um, so let's say that you've taken a look at the finding aid online. You're pretty sure that you've selected an archival collection that's going to be relevant to your research. Um, but it's not digitized and it's only available in hard copy at a research library in Albuquerque. Um, and of course it's non-circulating. So how do you get your hands on that is the question. Um, and the first thing that I would recommend, if it's at all feasible, is to consider making a visit to that archives. Um, especially if you, it's a large collection that you think could be really significant to your research. Um, in almost all cases, the archivist is not going to be able to provide you with copies of large collections in their entirety. Um, so visiting in person is, is often the best approach if it's going to be really significant to your research. Um, if that's not an option though, you can get copies um, from archives. And the first step in that process is going to be to contact the archivist. Um, you can usually find contact information on the institution's website. You can call or email. Um, and they're really going to help you out by giving you more information about the collection. They can tell you maybe some more details about what's inside there. And um, they can also help you narrow down um, which documents are going to be most relevant to you. And that's a really important step in the process because, um, like I said, they can't send you, you know, scans of thousands of documents. Um, so that, that winnowing down is a really important process that the archivist will help you with. Um, so once you've selected some documents that you're pretty sure that you want to take a look at, um, you're going to want to ask about their reproduction services. Sometimes they call it duplication services. Um, it just means getting copies. Um, and every institution does it different, so you really have to ask. Sometimes the information is on their website as well. But um, they make charge for reproductions, five cents all the way up to five dollars, typically charged per page. Um, some places might also do it free of charge. And there's also going to be a wide variety in how they transmit the um, reproductions to you. So sometimes they just make photocopies and send them in the mail. Um, other times they have sophisticated systems where they can scan it and upload it to a server or um, email you a PDF. So you just have to ask. They're happy to help you out. And I hope that this video will help you out with your primary source research in archives. Thanks for watching, guys.